Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at mastering the SQL Server case statements. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will try to understand the case statement in SQL Server with an example. So in simple words, a case statement in SQL is like a decision making tool. It helps you to check certain conditions and do something specific based on those conditions. It is very much similar to the if else conditions in other programming languages. So think of it like decision making choices like if this condition is true then do this if it's not true check for another condition and do something else and if none of the condition are true then do something by default okay so in the screenshot you can see that the query will start with the case and then when condition 1 then result 1 when condition 2 then result 2 and you can put multiple conditions in between and finally else else result and in the end you need to put the end keyword so this is how the case statement will be written so let's try to understand the case statement with an example so let's jump to the demo i got a sql server table employee table and this is kind of data it contains and there are two types of case statement the one is the simple case statement and another one is the search case statement so we will look at both of them so first look at the simple case statement okay so this is the employee table which contains the employee id employee name and the job title okay every employee have different job title like manager developer analyst designer okay so what we need to do uh, we need to write a case statement and we need to write a condition to add a new column job category based on the job title okay so there will be a job category new column and the new column will be created based on different conditions like if the job title will be manager then the job category will be leadership and if the job title will be developer then the job category will be technical and if the job title will be analyst then the uh, job category will be functional so these are the multiple conditions and in case if the job title does not exist in manager developer or analyst the value is something else then the job category should be other okay so we need to write a case statement for this one in sql server so how we can achieve this in sql server so we can use the case statement in sql server to add a new column job category and based on these particular if conditions okay so how we can write the condition select a star comma now we can write the case statement and i can add like from employee table okay so i can write the case statement select case when job title equal to manager so i can copy this value then leadership and i can copy this this line and when job title equal to developer then it come in inside the technical and if the job title equal to analyst then it should come under the functional and uh, and in the else we need to put the value as other okay other as a job category okay so this is how we can write the condition after the else and in the end we need to put the end keyword as well okay all right so this will be the final query so let me execute this sql query so now you can see that if the job title will be manager then it will come inside leadership if it will be developer then it will come inside technical for analyst it will come inside functional and because designer was not there so it will come inside the other okay so this is how the you can write the simple case statement yeah so this is one of the easy way to write the case statement and i will share the create table statement for the employee table and the insert query as well so that you can create the employee table along with the data in it and i will share the case statement as well so this is the example of the searched case statement so there are two type of case statement simple case statement and the searched case statement so now we will look at the searched case statement and we will write a condition to add a new column stock status okay so we need to write a condition that if unit in stock is zero then we need to add the new column value as out of stock and if unit is a stock is greater than zero and less than or equal to 10 then the new column value should be low stock and if the unit in stock is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 50 then it should be the medium stock otherwise it should be the high stock okay so we got a column here units in stock so based on this particular column we need to write the case statement okay 
so how i can write it first of all i can simply copy the select query okay and uh, i can add a uh, comma here and then i can start writing the case statement select case when and uh, units in stock if the units in stock equal to 0 then the value should be out of stock okay so i can copy this one out of stock okay now the second condition is when units in stock is greater than 0 and less than equal to 10 okay so i can write the condition uh, let me copy this one and paste it here okay so i think the column name is not correct here so it should be units in stock okay so i can copy this one and paste it here when units in stock is greater than zero and units in stock is less than equal to 10 okay then it will be low stock okay so i can write here low stock okay and uh, i can copy the same line and for the medium stock it's like if stock is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 50 okay so this will be the third condition and it will come inside the medium stock okay and in the else it will come inside the high stock so i can write like high stock so i can paste the value here okay and uh, in the end we need to put the end keyword and we can call the column as stock status okay so we will call it as stock status so this new column will be added here okay so this will be our final case statement search case statement that units in stock is zero then it will be out of stock when units in stock is greater than zero and less than 10 then it will be low stock when units in stock is greater than 10 and less than equal to 50 then it will be medium stock otherwise it will be high stock and we will add a new column as stock status okay so let me execute this particular query and it should add a new column here so you can see that a new column got added here yeah so this was an example of the search case statement yes i will share all the create table statement and insert data queries to you you can download it from the link in the description of the video and i will also share the select queries as well yes so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.